Hey folks, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, factorizing quadratics where the a value is bigger than 1. Um, now, if you need more practice or if you need me to go a little bit slower, there is a few links in the description below that you can follow. Um, yeah, apart from that, let's get started. So, the question we're going to be looking at is this particular one here, where 6x squared plus 11x plus 3 equals ax plus b times cx plus d. So what we're trying to work out is, well, we've got to factorize uh, the quadratic first and then tell, uh, and then show what a, b, c, and d are. Okay. All right, so what we have is we've got 6x squared plus 11x plus 3, and we'd like to factorize it. So now if you've watched my videos, you know how to do this, but if not, you can try and keep up, guys. But otherwise, I'd actually recommend you watching that video in the description below. But anyway, the way I go about it is I've got 6 times 3, which is 18. And then I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 18 and add to 11. So these two numbers are going to be 9 and 2. So that means what I'm going to do is I'm going to split up that 11x as... 9x and 2x. All right, then the next part is I'm going to split them up into two parts and factorize the left hand side and the right hand side. In the left hand side, I can see that 3x is a common factor. So if 3x is a common factor, then that would be 2x plus 3 plus, and then on the right hand side, I can't really do anything with the 2 and 3, so I'm just going to have 1 as a common factor. So then that would be 2x plus 3. So now I can see with both of them, 2x plus 3 is a common factor. Take it out, and then I have my two brackets. 2x plus 3 multiplied by 3x plus 1. So now, remember that this is equal to ax plus b multiplied by cx plus d. Therefore, I could say that a equals to 2, b equals to 3, c equals to 3, and d equals to 1. And as usual, guys, with this, there is a possibility that you might actually get it the other way as well. Like, for example, if you had written it 3x plus 1 first instead of 2x plus 3, not a worry, all right, because it can be written both different ways there. So it's fine. All right, let's go to the next question. Similar type, we got 3x squared minus x minus 4 equals ax plus b times cx plus d. So I got to factorize once again. So what I have is 3 times negative 4 is going to be negative 12. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 1. So in this case, it is going to be negative 4 and 3. So I can then write down this as 3x squared so I'm going to write negative 4x plus 3x minus 4. So as you can see, I've split that negative x as negative 4x and positive 3x. So the next part is splitting the 2 in the middle, factorizing the left-hand side. In the left-hand side, I can see that x is a common factor. That's it. I'm going to get 3x minus 4. As for the right-hand side, I have no common factors between 3x and negative 4 except 1. So I take out 1, and then that would become 1 times 3x minus 4. And now you can see 3x minus 4 is a common factor, which I can take out, and what I have is x plus 1 that remains. So remember that this is ax plus b multiplied by cx plus d. So therefore we can say that a is equal to 3, b equals negative 4, c equals to 1 and d equals to 1. As usual guys, you can actually have these values the opposite way around as well because if you write x plus 1 first then you're going to get a equals to 1 and b equals to 1. So not to stress, as long as you factorize that's the most important thing and then answering the question which is what are the values of a, b, c and d. Cool, that's it for this session guys. Uh, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Alright, thank you for watching.